Let's all face it, everybody loves the weekends because it means your time is your own. You get to relax at home, take naps, go on a fun outing with your family, or even take spontaneous road trips. But once Monday hits, that means it's back to the grind. We've all heard the phrase, a Sunday well spent brings a week of content. But what does that actually mean? What should we actually be doing on the weekends, specifically Sunday, to make our week run smoothly? As a working mom, I find it very helpful to take some time on the weekend to prepare for the week ahead. It's a way to help you organize a few things on your days off so you can hit the ground running on Monday full force. Weekdays are simply filled with a lot of different responsibilities. There's work, kids have school and after school activities, there's homework, dinner prep, and daily chores. And one of the most effective ways to manage the chaos during the week is to do a few things ahead of time. You'll definitely feel less stressed out and overwhelmed during the week. You'll also make it easier on yourself to stick to your plans. For example, you might decide that you want to have home cooking meals during the week. If you spend some time on the weekend on meal planning and prepping, you'll set yourself up for success as far as having those home cooked meals and not resorting to fast food because you feel overwhelmed and tired. It all comes down to the habits you cultivate on Sundays. And don't worry, a lot of these are quick and easy to implement once you make them a part of your routine. So you don't have to do them all, but start with a few that will make the biggest difference and slowly add more when you're comfortable. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 15 ways that I prepare on Sundays to have a productive week. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to do when trying to develop a Sunday routine or some sort of schedule of things you want to do during the Sunday afternoon, evening, whatever time frame you set out is to create some sort of checklist. So I happen to have a checklist that I keep in my planner. I actually create more of routines when it comes to the checklist. I do have a video on my channel sharing with you guys how I come up with my routines. And I, you know, that was a great video for you guys to be able to see kind of, you know, my thought process and how I structure my day. I also have a Sunday routine that I keep logged here as well. So this is where I come and I look and I make sure of all of the things that I want to get done on Sunday. And those are the things that you're going to see during this video today. And so you'll want to sit down at some point first and create a list of those things that you want to make sure that you're getting done on Sunday to make sure that you have a productive week. Now you guys know how I roll. I always like to include some sort of freebie if I can with the video. So this video is no different. We have a checklist that is available on our blog. I know it's not freebie Friday, but every now and then I like to throw a checklist or some sort of insert in for you guys to use along with this video. And so that is what we're going to do today. We're first going to write down all of the things that we want to make sure that we are getting done on Sunday to have a productive week, which is considered a routine. And so I will just kind of show you some of the things that I would write down here. And then I'm going to show you in motion work. I'm going to take you through a Sunday on this video. And hopefully you can get a sense of some things that allow me to set myself up for a productive week. And I don't do these things in any particular order, but I just make sure that I get them all accomplished. And this checklist will definitely help you to organize your thoughts. So this isn't going to take a super long time because I really want to get into this video but I just wanna share with you how important it is to first write out your list so that way you know all of the things you want to accomplish until you make it a habit. Once you make it a habit, it's gonna be second nature. You may still wanna have a checklist for some items, but for the most part, you'll be able to do these things in your sleep because it's become routine at this point. So meal planning is a part of that process for me. And then also ordering my groceries, which is a part of that. Okay, I like to prep lunches for the week. Okay, I'm doing laundry, which includes washing face masks. I'm 
So I'm not going to tell you every single thing I'm writing here. Let me just write it in and then I will come back and just show you guys kind of how that looks on paper. And that way you can get a sense of maybe you want to take a couple of these items to add to your Sunday routine, but you'll be able to see on paper how your day would look. And you can also tie a time frame to it if you would like, and you'll just get a sense of how long each of these tests are going to take. So you'll know how much to allot within, you know, your Sunday to accomplish these tasks. All right, so this is how my Sunday would look. And so you may not see some of these things in this video today, like check the weather, but that's a part of my planner routine. You're not gonna see fill vitamins because that's, you know, that's just something that I do. I don't need to show that on video. Or fill in my water cup. That's just a part of my Sunday routine as well. But I don't really necessarily feel like you guys need to see that in motion. So this is a checklist that is free on our blog. So go ahead and download it now. You can pause the video and go download it and then rewind back to the beginning. So that way you can kind of see and work alongside me but this is so important to be the first part of your process there's also a spot in here for you to be able to write in the week so you know what week this is for if you're planning on doing this week to week so head on over to the blog and download this it is a part of our membership which is completely free by the way all you have to do is log into the members only area there are instructions on a couple of past videos like the brain dump video that tells you exactly how to do that but it's super easy once you log in go to the members only login and then you'll see a bunch of freebies at the top and then you'll also see freebie Fridays which change every single Friday at the bottom so grab this this is great you can use this for pretty much anything but I just like to use it to just be able to map out some things that I want to make sure I accomplish and check those things off as I complete them so that is how mine would look for Sunday so feel free to take some of these things if you see something you're like oh yeah I need to make sure that I'm doing that too Take those things, apply them to your Sunday routine, and you will definitely have a super productive week. And so it starts here with planning it out. Make sure that you uh, write down every single thing that you know you need to do. And this may take 10 to 15 minutes and then pop it in your planner and every week refer to it until it becomes routine. So the next way that you can prepare yourself for a productive week ahead is to set up some sort of calendar system. So this is my catch all planner. I do also have a completely separate system for my work business and social media planner. So you'll want to set up a separate planner for yourself. If you work outside the home or even if you work uh, inside the home or have some sort of business, you'll want to have that planner set up as well. And so we're mainly talking about catch all planner because this is pretty much all things home and we are trying to prepare ourselves for a productive week. And that starts in the house and preparing your home and things that you have to do for the upcoming week for the family. And so this is how my typical spread would look for the week. I don't really change from week to week so as you can see everything pretty much looks the same in terms of how I plan I always plan my monthly and then I break down my weeks pop in a meal planner sometimes I'll pop in a tracker so I can track some things I always write a to-do list every single week and then my meal planner of course which I showed you and then my uh, theocratic study schedule I always have that in here so my week doesn't really change from week to week in terms of how I decorate and how I plan and the layout of my spread now I am moving into dashboard next month and so I'm really excited to be able to go back into dashboard and plan some spreads out and see if that's going to work better for me because I have been really digging this particular layout so you'll want to make sure that you plan for your week ahead write in all of your tasks that you need to write in and that you want to accomplish whether it be inside the home or again business and social media or work planner outside the home you're doing the same thing in that planner as well write in all of the things that you need to buy write in all of your appointments any top priority Priorities, you'll want to write those all in and of course that'll look different for you depending on what planner that you're using so plan your week out you guys know I'm a super huge fan of being prepared on paper and I think that that is super important and essential to be able to get accomplished all the things you want to do another way that you can get prepared for a productive week is to meal plan so I am a huge advocate of meal planning that's why I have developed our very first full meal planner as you guys saw launched on the channel yesterday and so this is how that looks I 
always, always meal plan. Every single week I sit down on a Sunday, which is what we're talking about, being prepared on Sunday. I write in everything that we are gonna have as a family for dinner. So I'll come here and look at the month because sometimes I already have that planned out or I'll already have it planned out on my at a glance pages, which means I'll transfer that from here to the monthly layout. And so it starts here on my monthly. I look on Pinterest to see some different recipes and things that I wanna prepare. I always try to try something new and that's why I wanted to develop a recipes to try page. And so I'll come here uh, sporadically and write in some things that we wanna try. Also at the beginning of the month, I like to write in some recipes I wanna try. I may not always try them, which means that I will transfer them to the next month if I don't try them. If I do, they're gonna be written in on my monthly and my weekly and then I'll check them off. So this is a huge part of my life and the success of the family because we got to eat right and so if i don't meal plan for a week i feel like things are in disarray and i don't really feel like i'm ready for the week ahead so meal planning and so i know a lot of people feel like it's a daunting task it's a lot of work but for me i enjoy it and i feel like it saves us so much money so write in everything that you're having i only cook three times a week all the other days are leftover days grocery list here i always check to see what i have on hand save a little bit of extra money cross those items off of the list and then i am ready to order my groceries i always order them on walmart grocery service i've tried a few different things and walmart is what works best for our family and so i've been sticking with that and then i also feel like with walmart you're able to purchase other things besides your typical grocery items. So I can buy toiletries, I can buy household goods and things like that. So I also have a list in here of items to always keep on hand. So I'm always referring to this list as well to see what we have in stock. These are fairly new inserts. They are very new. So I'm working on writing some things in, but I eventually want to get to the point to where all of my inventory is completed. So that way when I'm doing my meal planning, I can literally look here and I can see the quantities of what I have and I can just go based off of this. And I'm going to constantly, I know, have to check in with this to make sure that it's up to date. But this is going to be a great resource to be able to look up those items, see what I I already have on hand so I'm not bouncing back and forth between the kitchen and my planner to you know check and see what I've got on hand I can kind of reference these pages so meal planning is essential for me and our household in order to make sure that we are prepared with what we want to have for dinner during the week I also write it down here at the bottom just so I know right in front of me that this is what we're having I don't always have to toggle back and forth between the different sections so try it I know it's it's a lot it can be a lot but you'll get used to it and then it'll be second nature and next thing you'll know you'll be cooking up a storm and meal planning every single week and you won't be able to have a productive week without it. So the next tip for preparing for a productive week ahead is to create to-do lists. So you guys know I am a huge advocate of to-do lists. I actually had a whole video on my channel that went up last week that showed you guys how I create my to-do list and also how I do my brain dump, which I feel like is an essential part of creating to-do lists as well. But this is pretty much how I create my to-do list. I sit and I think about all the things that I want to accomplish that may not be assigned to a date and time. Some stuff is, I do also write that in as well, but majority of my to-do list items are just random things. So I'll write all of those things in and then I'll assign a date to them. And then I go into my calendar for that particular week and I'll write in tasks in my task section here, some of these things. Now, if they don't have a deadline to them, I'm only gonna write them in the task section. If they do have a deadline to them, I'm gonna write them on whatever day they go on. I also like to keep in a master to-do list for the week. I don't always rewrite this, because not everything is always checked off of this list. So I just take it out and I transition it to the next week or transfer it to the next week. And then I keep working at it. So some of these things get put on this list and all of that is pulled from what I just showed you in that um, on those inserts in the back. And so all of that tr gets transferred to this, which gets transferred to the, this in terms of random to do's. And then anything that I need uh, to assign to a day gets assigned to a day. But I keep this in here just because I'm just constantly checking things off. So things I'm not able to do and so I want to be able to pull this out and transfer it to the next week and I do all of that all over again uh, if this gets too full or I'm getting a lot of check marks and I want to start fresh then I'll just go ahead and rewrite this checklist all over again and I'll keep this in this week and I'll put a new one in the next week so to-do list just help you 
to be able to visualize all the things that you need to do and schedule them out appropriately and be able to check off those tasks that you need to get done and be productive. And that's what we're all about. So make sure that you are making your to-do lists. They are very essential in planning out your week and making sure that you have a great week and you can get all of the things done. All right, another tip is to plan your workouts. You guys know I am all on this new workout thing. I've been doing so good. And so I am just so proud of myself, you guys. So I have a whole fitness section in my planner. So this is how our inserts look, has a quote on the cover. I come here and I typically try to plan out my strategy in terms of workouts. I have been really struggling with working out and so it's it's just been a lot. So I'm, I'm really trying and I feel like if I just keep, keep working at it, keep writing it down, then there's more of a chance that I will achieve it. So on my monthly is where I come and I write out the gym classes at my gym. I don't always go just because I'm, you know, I want to make sure that I'm being safe. And so most of the time I'll just write it in and then I'll pick and choose based on how I feel. But right now there's been minimal of this and that's why there's not as much written in. And so that's what I would typically write on my monthly if I was using it like I should. And then when it gets to the weeklies, you guys know I eat three times a day. So breakfast, lunch, dinner. If I need more macros in terms of fat and all that stuff, then I'll add in a little small snack. And for breakfast, I typically have black coffee, tea or water. Um, and I try to keep it simple with lunches and only do two types of lunches and spread them out. So as you can see, we had tacos the first part of the week and then we had the Italian roll up the second part of the week that helps me out to not have to plan so many things I also take all of these items that I know I'm gonna need for this part and transfer it into my meal planner this is dinner so it's already gonna be there because all I do is just take that from there and put it here and so that way I know what I'm having for dinner and so I try to make sure that I plan for fitness, I plan for eating, and I also lay out my clothes, which you guys saw earlier, or I'm not sure what part of the video that's gonna be in, but I lay out my clothes for the week, at least for that next day, may not be for the whole entire week, so that way that part of it is done. Sometimes I don't, that will prevent me from working out. I don't always feel like getting up to figure out what I'm gonna wear to work out. So if I already have that done on a Sunday, then I'm ready to go for at least that next day. So planning for fitness, just work it into your routine. And so that way you can uh, make sure that you're living a healthy lifestyle or you're trying to get fit in some way, which is what I'm trying to do. And it's just a challenge for me. So that's why I have to plan for it. And so these inserts have really been helping me. Some weeks are just simple and some weeks I write in with stickers and decorate on all that good stuff. And so the key for me is just being consistent with writing it in. And once I write it in, I'm always going to look throughout these sections to see what needs to be completed in life. I'm going to bump into this because I'm planning to look at it and there's more of a chance that I'm going to do these things if I write it in. So that is important to me, being able to plan for all things fitness and healthy eating and that is always going to make you have a productive week because when you feel good you just operate more productively and so it's a good thing all the way around so another thing I do when it comes to planning, because I am in my planner a lot during the week and then also on a Sunday, because Sunday is when I really, really dig in. I sit down with all my stickers, my planning tools, my planner bag, and I, I literally just shut everything out. And for like an hour or two, I'm planning and I'm seeing what we need to do. It may not be that long. I have decorative plans, so sometimes it is long, okay? That's just what it is. I'm not saying that that has to be what you do, but when you decorative plan and stickers and this is kind of your creative outlet, it might take a little bit longer, but the next thing that I do is I make sure that I have all of the bills laid out. I use the week on one layout. I love it. I already have a little place here where I write in all of my bills. This is just my personal bills that I personally pay. This isn't household expenses. My husband and I get together and we handle that part of things as well on a Sunday, but this is just me literally sitting down to figure out all of the bills that I need to pay for that particular week. I have everything broken out. A lot of things are automatic payments, which means I don't have to go in and do any Anything, but there are items that actually have to physically go in and pay and then I just want to be aware of some upcoming things as well so budget planning is important for me to be able to have a successful week make sure that I am paying off things that I need to pay off also I like to write down some uh, savings as well and I'll go ahead and transfer those into the accounts that I have set up for savings so I just want to make sure that I am balanced in all aspects of my life and budgeting is a very important part of that as well so that is all included in my Sunday routine. I 
also like to take some time out on Sundays to sit down in my office and strategize and prepare what we may need to discuss during a family meeting this week. So as you guys know, I am a mom of two and I am married to an amazing husband and we want to make sure that we're able to sit down as a family on a weekly basis to discuss any issues that may come up and also to discuss different things that we want to make sure that the kids are aware of for that week, anything school-wise, anything extracurricular-wise, anything family and home-wise. We want to be very open with each other and make sure that we are all on the same page. So I want to make sure that I strategize for that and I make sure that I'm covering everything I need to cover so that we can come together as a family and discuss those things. The next thing I try to do is get as much laundry done as possible. Now, I am not a big fan of laundry. And to be honest with you guys, my husband does the majority of the laundry because it's just not my thing. But I know that I do have to do it on occasions. So for me, I try to do that on Sunday, especially with the upcoming week. I want to make sure that the kids have exactly what they need in terms of what they're going to wear for the week. Sometimes it's wrapped up in laundry. So It's just a thing that we all have to do. So I try to gather it all up and I get the kids involved as well. So each kid is responsible for bringing their laundry down if they want to be included in that round. For the most part, Malachi does do his own laundry, which is great. He is a teenager after all, but Miss Addison is still learning. So I do get her involved as much as I can so that she can learn to do her own laundry. I don't want to have to do her laundry forever. (laughs) And so if I can get her involved in that process and teach her as early as possible, I think that is very beneficial. And so I sit down on Sundays on the couch, turn the TV on or a little music, and that is when I fold laundry and just get it done. I like to create piles for each person so that they can come down and pick their laundry up and put it away. I do find myself checking behind Addison to make sure everything is in its place when she does take it up to her room because sometimes it just gets stuck in the closet or on the floor or on her bed. So I do check behind her to make sure it is put away properly. But getting it all done on Sunday is very helpful to make sure that everyone has what they need for that upcoming week. And that also includes cleaning our face masks. As you guys know, we are all in a pandemic. This is our new normal and they have to wear them at school and we also have to wear them while going out and about. So I like to make sure that they are clean as well. So I just toss that right on in the laundry also. The next thing I do to prepare for a productive week is I lay out Addison's clothes for the week. Now this does involve me checking the weather so I have to be prepared in that way and I'll typically leave a little note in my planner so that is done during the planning process but I want to make sure that she dresses appropriately. Now she is very involved in this process because she's got her own taste, her own style, she knows what she wants and so I do allow her to pick out most of her clothes during the week and then of course sometimes it's just not going to work so I'll go back and I will double check to make sure that it is all going to work out but I want to make sure that she has some input in this process as well so I pick everything out from her tops to bottoms her underwear her socks and her shoes I have a little bin here that I got from the container store and that is where I used to organize everything I don't always plan or pick things out for the whole entire week because like Life, right but I try and make sure that she at least has that outfit picked and laid out for Monday so that way we can get our week started off right and then during the week I still do try to make sure that she knows what she's wearing prior to the night before and that just helps us to stay organized she gets up in the morning she knows what she's wearing we're not fumbling around especially on those days she wants to sleep in a little later my daughter has a hard time getting up in the morning so the more prepared we can be the better off we are also like to lay out my clothes for at least that Monday workout. The same thing applies for me. If I don't prepare for at least Monday and lay those clothes out, there's less likely a chance that I'm going to work out on Monday. I'm not sure why, you guys. That's just something that I battle with, so I try to prepare myself as well by laying out at least that Monday workout outfit. So next up is preparing the snacks for the week. So most of this is done during my meal planning process. I'll go into the pantry and pull out our snack bins. 
Now over the week, these bins tend to get really messy. So I wanna go in and kind of clean them up a little bit. I wanna check expiration dates and purge where needed and clean those bins out so that we could start fresh during the week. During the school week, Addison takes a snack to school for her to have during school. She also has an after school snack that she enjoys when she gets home from school. So I wanna make sure those bins are cleaned out so that way the kids can find their snacks easily. So again, that just involves pulling out the bins, cleaning them out, dumping residue out, dumping old food out, and things that have gotten lost in the process of the kids opening snacks during the week and just kind of leaving a mess. Mom typically cleans that up. And all of these things that I'm sharing with you guys, I try to get the kids involved as much as possible, but sometimes that's just not possible, in which case it falls on me and I'm okay with that. This is a part of my Sunday routine. And so snack prep is a part of my weekly process. Cleaning out those bins and making sure that everything is thrown out that is expired and purchasing new snacks as needed. Next up is to prepare lunch for the week. So in terms of those of us who are at home and Malachi who is homeschooled, I do write down some lunch options, which you saw earlier during my meal planning process. But Addison loves to actually take lunch to school. So I do allow her to take lunch two to three times per week. And so on Sunday, I'll make sure that I pack lunch for at least Monday. I don't pack lunches for the whole entire week, only Monday during my Sunday routine routine. So I try to make sure that she has a vegetable, a fruit if possible. She loves the little lunchable, so I'll allow her to take that from time to time. She really is a finicky eater, so I really have to be strategic and plan ahead so that I can make sure she actually eats her full lunch. So that is next up on the list in my Sunday preparation. I want to make sure that I pack lunch for at least Monday, and I want to make sure that the rest of us also have lunch options prepared and planned out for the week. The next thing that I wanna make sure that I'm doing on Sunday to have a productive week is to clean out bags. Now this involves several bags. First up is Miss Addison's book bag. She has about two to three book bags. She's so high maintenance. She just loves variety. So I make sure to clean out her bags. I take her folders out, make sure I sign any paperwork, clean out any old snacks, including her lunchbox. I clean out her lunchbox, make sure I rinse it out, make sure there's no leftover food in there. Sometimes she forgets to clean it. So I wanna make sure that I check it before I pack her lunch for the next week. I also have to clean out my planner bag. Sometimes it just is a hot mess and I have lots of old papers and just things that need to be purged out. So I tend to take almost everything out of my bag and I just check to make sure that everything is clean and tidy and then I put it back in. So that way, when I start my week, I have a clean bag. Cleaning out my purse is also a part of that process. I wanna make sure that I also do the same thing. I purge things that need to be purged. I also clean any messes or anything that has spilled in my purse. In this case, I had some allergy pills that spilled all over my bag. So I wanted to make sure that I cleaned those up and put them back inside of the container. So I tend to just pour it all out and then I clean things out and I put it right back in my purse. So that way each of my bags and the kids bags stay fresh and clean for the week and that helps to contribute to a clear mind, which in turn makes us productive. So mail tends to really pile up around here for some reason. So I try and tackle that on Sundays. I have a bin here that I keep right next to the front door in this cabinet storage unit. And that is where I tend to keep mail until I can sort through it. All I do is purge out anything that is considered junk mail and file away any mail that is important. So the next part of my Sunday routine is tidying up. Now this is just on a surface level, so this isn't the time when I do my deep cleaning. This is just where I go room by room and I kind of tidy up things a little bit. And so I'll pick up trash where needed, I'll sweep and mop where needed, I'll wipe down counters and cabinets and things like that. And so that way Monday we can start our week with a clean slate. Now this is something that I definitely need the family's help with. Mama can't do it all by herself and particularly because by this time of day I am exhausted. So I need everyone to do their part. And so I assign tasks to each one of us so that way we 
can all work together as a team. And so I'm just making my rounds throughout the house and I'm kind of taking a peek inside of that room and see if there's something on a surface level that I can clean and tidy up so that way it just makes it all the more easy during the week when I have to do my deeper cleaning and really get this place in order. So tidying up is definitely a part of my Sunday routine. Sunday is also the day where I tidy up my car a little bit. Again, we're not talking deep cleaning. We're only talking about straightening up just a little bit to prepare yourself so that way when you get in the car, you feel good because you are in a nice clean space. So I start by cleaning my trunk out. You guys know I am an organized person, so I do tend to keep my car pretty organized. I have a little organization bin in my trunk that I use to sort things out. I keep a vacuum in there. I typically keep a blanket it in there I'll keep some cleaning supplies in there I also keep a first aid kit in there so that way I have all of the tools that I'll need on the go so I vacuum the trunk out a little bit I'll also take my portable vacuum and vacuum the inside of the car a little bit I am literally just taking the trash out and tidying up just on a surface level I'll do a deep clean later I also use this time to fill my gas tank if needed we have a gas station that's literally three minutes down the road and I want to make sure when I hop in the car I'm not trying to get gas my tank is already filled up so that is a part of my Sunday process as well I make sure the car is tidied up I also like to spray my little smell goods in there so when I get in the car I have a nice clean fresh smelling car and then I fill my gas tank as well all right, another thing that I like to do to prepare myself for a productive week ahead, because I'm always on my phone, my job has a lot to do with social media, and so I wanna make sure that I you know, have a great starting point for the week, because I'm always operating on my phone, posting things, taking pictures. I wanna make sure that I'm organized, so I always go in and I delete old photos. You know, Anything that I don't need that I've already posted for the week, um, anything that I just don't need in general, I've already sorted them out because I do keep things on my phone within shared albums. I got that little tip from the Apple Store. If you want to free up some space on your phone, create a shared album. Now it still takes up space of course, but the footprint is a lot smaller. So I have a whole ton of shared albums. You can also share them with the family, which means they can see those photos. But I try to be as uh, clean as possible when it comes to my main folder of pictures and anything that I want to keep, I'll transfer that to the share or to uh, iCloud or to some sort of Dropbox or cloud service. That's also a great option. But if I'm, you know, I'm always trying to operate really quickly and so I may not always have time for that. So I just really quickly put it in that shared folder to free up some space. So I'm constantly scrolling through and I'm tagging things and checking things off that I know I don't need any longer. And I wanna clear it out because I just have to have my phone constantly cleared in order for me to have just a clear mind and a great starting point for the next week so i'm just going in here and clearing things out then i go to recently deleted i select them and i delete them all as well so that way on monday when i get ready to start my social media and taking photos for instagram and uh, various other social media platforms i have somewhat of a clear phone and a, and a starting point to be able to start building those pictures and creating that content that i need to create for the week so that is it guys. I have shared everything with you guys in order to prepare myself for a productive week and for me that starts on Sunday. So I know I didn't share too much with you on business and social media, but just know that a lot of the things that I do in this planner in terms of planning things out, I'm doing business wise. I also have a whole nother routine that I use to prepare myself for the upcoming week in terms of business. So maybe I'll do a separate video on my channel and share that with you guys as well. So remember to grab this checklist from our blog. It is free to become a member and that way you can write down all of the things that you want to do during your Sunday routine. Sunday is a jumping off point to the week and it all starts for me on Sunday. I know that if I don't get 
at least most of these things done, then my week is gonna feel off. So try to implement some sort of Sunday routine and this checklist may help you to organize your thoughts. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel to catch another video. Hopefully you enjoyed it so much though that you'll give me a thumbs up on this video. You'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here and you'll come back by and catch another video in which case I'll see you guys then.